So this afternoon, I've got to grab a box trailer from Winnipeg and drag it out to Kenora again. But this morning, I got the privilege of delivering a few nice looking GMs into Winnipeg. I'm not sure where they came from yet. I don't have the paperwork. I'm going to get it in just a second, but we got them all chained down on here already. Just going to go make sure we have proper air in all our tires. We do deliver a lot of vehicles. Like I was telling you yesterday, I think. We provide uh, transportation for a lot of snowbirds that go south. And if you're a snowbird and you go south every winter, maybe you got a condo down there, maybe you're just going down there for extended vacation. If you wanna go down there, but you don't wanna rent a car and you wanna have your own vehicle there, well, you give us a call. We do a lot of transport of vehicles and uh, pretty sure we could help you out and get your car down there as well so that you can drive your own car while you're escaping winter. You're one of the lucky ones. You get to get away from winter. <laughs> one day I'm hoping to be at that point myself, but if you're already there, we'll get you your vehicle down there for you so you don't have to rent a vehicle the whole time you're there. here excuse me these two pickups are going into the southwest corner of the city I'm on the southeast right now so I just got to go a little over to the west side there residential zones of Winnipeg come right up to the perimeter here so they like it if you be a little quiet Shh. don't want to disturb the suburban people <laughs> those are nice houses though it's a nice neighborhood in there I think this is what is this Royal Wood Island Lakes Island Lake no Island Lakes is I don't know Royal Wood I don't know very expensive houses in there I remember when I was a kid, when I first got my driver's license, 16 years old, how long ago was that? 17 years? 17 years ago, a long time ago. None of these houses were here. It was just a big open field. The city was way out that way. It's growing so fast. 
Okay, but there was no reason for you to cut that close in front of me. Alright, I've arrived. I have no idea where to bring these things. We've got some pickup trucks for you. Anybody want a pickup truck? If nobody wants it, I'll take them. I'll just take them home. How about that? No? No, that's not an option. Alright, I'm going to have to find someone here and uh, find the right person. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going. All the way to the back of their yard. Uh, go talk to the good receivers back there. I think that's where the receivers are. I don't know where to go anyways. I'm going to need some kind of dock or something to drive these trucks off. I have the keys for them here. I just... We don't got ramps on this trailer, so I'm assuming that they have something lined up, like there's a, an outdoor dock maybe or something. Oh, this might just work. I found an outdoor dock and I backed up to it. I thought for sure it was going to be too high for the step deck. But looks like it's going to work just perfect over here. Look at that. Okay. I thought for sure that this uh, step deck would be too low. Obviously, this outdoor dock was made for step decks, so I can drive it right off. Good, now I just got to figure out who to talk to here, so uh, I can get someone to sign for these things and receive them. And sign my proof of delivery so that they know I brought it here, and where they are. Okay, that went very smoothly. Drove them right off. Easy as that. Nice, quick and easy delivery. bringing this step deck back to our yard and then I'm going to bobtail back into the city and pick up that van trailer that I need to drag out to Kenora. It's only going to be ready at one o'clock apparently so uh, it's going to be a bit of a long day today because from where I pick it up it's about a three hour drive to where I drop it and then a three hour drive back because I got to bring an empty box back for them right? And then it's about another half hour or so back to the yard. So six and a half to seven hour round trip. If I pick it up at one o'clock, I'll probably be out of here close to eight o'clock tonight. Maybe sooner, we'll see. I am predicting 8 p.m. Hopefully I remember to uh, check when I leave and let's see how close I was. That is my, uh, my trucker forecast. 8 p.m. tonight, leaving here in my pickup. Mm, it's busy here out front. There's not really an area for you to park out front and quickly run in your paperwork or grab your paperwork, so we end up just sort of parking here where these guys are parked, and the whole driveway can get plugged up real quick. I'm not gonna park here and plug it up even more. All right, I'm gonna go find a hole to put this uh, step deck in in the back. Book it on into the city. Maybe they'll get me loaded early. So remember, my 8 p.m. prediction is if I get leap, if I leave the city where I'm picking up the van, if I leave with the loaded trailer at one o'clock or shortly thereafter, on time. So that would give me seven hours. So we may have to adjust our prediction for when we're going to leave here. I'm predicting that we will be leaving here in my pickup seven hours after I leave the city with a loaded trailer headed to Kenora. Does that make sense? I only have to do a route once or twice and then I, I, I remember how long things take so that next time I can plan out my trip better. You know, you punch it into the GPS, it'll give you a time, not necessarily a right or correct time.
right, so we're gonna skip forward. We're now hooked on to our box. We're gonna pull it all the way out to Kenora. I'm leaving here at 104. It's gonna be 105 right away. So we're gonna to stick to my original prediction that I'll be leaving in my pickup from work around 8 p.m. tonight. Let's see how close I am. I'm hoping it'll be sooner than that, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get going. All right, we're not gonna to make too many stops. Actually, none after this. I'm just going into Deacon's Corner there, the Petro Pass, for a quick bathroom break. I don't wanna make this a very long stop because I'm trying to prove a point. And I don't wanna to add too many variables onto my, my time. I think it's gonna take seven hours for the whole round trip to get me back to the yard, like I said. So I'm not gonna stop very often. Just now, I'm gonna take one bathroom break. I'll take another bathroom break when I'm there switching trailers if I can. And then come straight back. So I'm just gonna slowly sneak around here. So even though I'm not fueling, I'm not gonna go racing through the parking lot. Very often I see it at this truck stop and at other truck stops, drivers who think they're on the Indy 500 or on, uh, you know, maybe they're, they're dreaming of being NASCAR drivers or something, because they just fly through these parking lots. I don't know what they're racing about. Maybe they're trying to get that last parking spot. But take her easy in the truck stops. this time of day there's plenty of spots to park in you'll see over here I'm gonna pull in right between those super bees I think if I can, you know what actually I always like parking right on the end I'm gonna park on the left of that to the left of the super bee here he came a little bit close to this side here and he's tossing liquid out of his door right now. So hopefully he's done by the time I get there so he doesn't toss it onto my truck. I'll try to give him as much room as possible. He's parked on the line. I make this very quick. But a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. And there's no, well, I guess there's bathrooms out in uh, Prada, Manitoba and Esso, but halfway there, but I gotta go to the bathroom now, so. TMI for you, I know. Gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna run in here, and uh, then we're gonna book it down to Kenora. I'll show you some of the scenery. Like you guys know, if you've been watching for a while, once you hit the Ontario border, or just before the border actually, the scenery changes from flat prairie land to some much more interesting scenery. Some rocky, hilly, twisty windy road lakes everywhere it's it's really beautiful there's a lot of cottages out there maybe one day if uh, if i play my cards right maybe one day i can have a cottage out there too probably not but you never know you never know i'll see you down the road
always looks like a little bit of a mess in here, but it's because I got no storage. I just got my little area there. So I got my bag, all my cleaning products, lunch. We've uh, just switched trailers in Kenora now. And, uh, oh shoot. <laughs> I need to get the license plate of the trailer I hooked onto so I can punch it into here. Uh, we're gonna bring this back to Winnipeg. The time is now 4.39, so by the time I'm rolling out of here, it'll be 4.40. I just gotta quickly enter this plate in. Uh, so we left there at one, two, three, four. Stop for one bathroom break. That was over three hours, three and a half hours. So 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30. Oh, it might be after eight by the time we're getting into the pickup. We'll see. I'll see you guys at the end of the day. You saw the ride in, eh? How it, the scenery changed. It's a lot nicer in Ontario here. Though a lot harder to build. There's, it's easier to build on the flat land, but Kenora's a beautiful town. A lot of fishing here on the lake. A lot of cabins. Really good place to come see. But I'll see you when we get back. We'll see what time that's at. right now so I can probably be out of here in the next 15 10 minutes well, it's not gonna take me that long to drop it and it's about a half hour back to the yard so it'll be very close to 8 o'clock we'll see my prediction pretty on point I gotta say I'm actually kind of surprised at myself I was kind of half guessing <laughs> we'll see what happens though it's still a lot can happen between here and there Definitely the last one here today. It's 8.25. It's stuck and hung up in a little bit of late night traffic. It was weird. 8.25, I'll park the truck. I'll be in my pickup at 8.30 and leaving here at 8.30. Long day today. It couldn't go any faster though. The only thing I could have done differently is not stopped for a bathroom break. Ah, oh well, there's my pickup right there. Just waiting for me. Park this thing, plug it in, it's gonna get a little cold tonight. We'll be back here in the morning. Take it easy there, Mr. Aldane. What are you doing to my radio anyways? Who put you on? Let's change this here. Let's, now let's just leave it off. How about that? That's just better for everybody. Okay, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm going home. I'm going to shower. I'm going to go straight to bed. We're going to do it all over again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 8.35 and we're rolling out. So I was a little bit off. A little bit off, but if I wouldn't have stopped for that bathroom break, I would have been pretty much bang on, I bet. I would have been in, ah, probably would have been like 8.15 instead. Close. So close.